What's good guys? Drizzy Got Soul back with another video and today I decided to come to the outlet show you guys what they have here. This was all unexpected but since I'm here I figured I would uh, start a video and see uh, what they got. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so right off the bat, looks like we have a pair of Ying Yang 1s, some black metallic 5s, and some perforated Jordan 1s. Pretty surprised that the black metallic 5s are in the outlets. Maybe they got a late uh, shipment of a uh, leftover inventory, but uh, let's see, right here we have a pair of Air Force 1s. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, some Air Max 1s. I think those are Nike Lab, no, uh, they're Pinnacles. Uh, $79 and let's see what else we have uh, we have a pair of Jordan 1 patent leathers um, don't know the official nickname for them uh, but I think they came out with like three different colorways there was like a purple and another black colorway um, let's see. Some random trainers oh yeah and then right here the black colorway I was talking about earlier this is actually a colorway that I probably would wear. The only thing that stops me from buying patent leather shoes is the fact that they crease really, really easily. That's just one downside of that type of material. And it looks like we have another pair of Air Max Pinnacle ones. Now, one thing I do like about the Pinnacles, uh, whether it be Air Max or Jordan, uh, it's always premium materials. So like the leather on the sock lining on the inside is very very soft materials and of course on the outside as well so right here we have a I think this is in one of the newer Flynet trainer models um, pretty dope shoe I like that they're high top uh, these are the Nike zoom all-out Flynet uh, pretty nice shoe just don't think it's worth $90 I would cop them if the price was a little bit lower, but gonna have to pass on them for now. Looks like we got a pair of Kobe's here. I think these are the, yeah, the Mamba Instinct, uh, which is a lot better looking model than the, I think it was the Kobe AD, uh, one of the first models to release after he retired, which was a horrible model. So this looks a lot better. All right, so let's see what we have here in the aisles. Looks like we have a pair of Nike Train Enders. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but, but I do have a pair of these. Nice comfortable shoe for a decent price. Nice shoe to go to the gym in if you want to train in them. Uh, but I definitely recommend not to run in them because the traction is horrible. Right here we have a pair of Nike Prestos. I've never owned a pair but I've heard nothing but great things about them. Right there, a very comfortable shoe. Uh, maybe one day I'll grab them and add them to my collection. Dang, look at this. A pair of foam sitting on the shelves. It's just funny because those would have sold out a few years ago. But that just shows you that the sneaker trends are always changing. So right here we have a pair of Master 12s. Um, I am going to go ahead and start speeding this up a little bit because I am getting looks from the employees. But yeah, Master 12s right here for the kids. Can't go wrong with it. All black shoe perfect for little kids because you know they don't care about shoes next we have a pair of K. Hey, get the heck out of here let's keep moving nothing to see here people right here we got some futures man i remember when this shoe first came out in the red colorway yo the hype on those was so crazy they was going for like three four hundred dollars next what the heck are these yo these remind me of like the emoji with the eyes on them those are garbage Right here we have a pair of perforated Jordan 1s, 129, mm, that's still kind of too high. I think these would be sitting for a while, uh, but definitely good materials on the shoe. Man, I regret not picking up this shoe soon enough. Like when they first came out, they were sitting on shelves for a bit, but kind of waited too long and they ended up set on, selling out. But they do have them here, so I'm about to ask one of the associates to see if they have my size in the back. Man, this colorway is probably my favorite of the Kyrie 3. Um, I love red, so pretty much any red colorway always always catches my attention. Um, 
price is $94. Still would rather pay less for those. And then you have the all white Kyrie 3s as well. Yo, I cannot stand this shoe. I'm a LeBron fan, but this is probably the worst, his worst model he's ever released. I hate 14s. Now these I can work with. Uh, these are the LeBron 14 lows, which kind of look like a totally different shoe. Um, it's all black colorway that you can match with just about anything. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, all right, yeah, these aren't what I thought they were. I thought these were Ohio State trainers. Uh, usually Nike drops like a college pack with a whole bunch of different teams, uh, different colleges. Uh, but yeah, these, these weren't it. I was about to have to cop for $50. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. I know those, these are sweet, right? The alternative fours. For Ezra? But, he said he needed black shoes. Yeah. That was insane. That was insane, though. That's the ones I showed you last night. So, didn't pick up nothing from Nike, unfortunately, um, but it's kind of a good thing because I did want to wait until we go to Florida, uh, which I'll be going to Florida next week, um, and they have like Nike clearance, that's where they have like um, Nike ID returns, and that's like the best place to, place to go to get Nike shoes for like the cheapest price possible. Um, they did have like the black metallic five that I showed you guys. Um, but they didn't have my size, um, so had to pass on those. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, real quickly what they had in the Nike outlet. Um, but that about does it for this video. And I will catch you in the next. Peace.